हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ द एडवांस मोबाइल प्रोग्रामिंग इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी हाउ डू वी डिज़ाइन एंड कोड द डायलर एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग टेलीफोनी ए पी आई तो इन एंड्रॉयड वी हैव अ टेलीफोनी ए पी आई दैट इज़ बेसिकली यूज टू डील विद द डायलिंग नंबर्स फ्रॉम द कॉन्टैक्ट्स सो एंड्रॉयड हैज़ गिवेन अ सेपरेट ए पी आई फॉर द डायलिंग अ नंबर एंड डीलिंग विद द कॉन्टैक्ट्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द डिज़ाइन पार्ट ऑफ द डायलर ऐप नाउ फर्स्ट यू वी विल क्रिएट अ प्रोजेक्ट राइट एज वी ऑल नो इट वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी सिलेक्ट एन एम टी एक्टिविटी विद इन एम टी एक्टिविटी जस्ट सिलेक्ट द लैंग्वेज जावा नाउ स्टार्ट विद द डिज़ाइन पार्ट तो फर्स्ट वी सिलेक्ट अ टेक्स गो टू द टेक्सट एंड टू डाइल अ नंबर राइट वी हैव टू गिव अ ऑप्शन टू द यूजर तो प्लेन टेक्स जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप दिस प्लेन टेक्स एज वी कैन सी यर दिस इज योर प्लेन टेक्स एंड वन मोर थिंग राइट डू रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट जस्ट गो टू द कोड चेंज योर ले आउट विथ कंस्ट्रेंड ले आउट टू रिलेटिव ले आउट फर्स्ट वी विल चेंज आर ले आउट राइट वी हैव अ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ले आउट वन ऑफ द ले आउट इज योर रिलेटिव ले आउट देन अगेन गो टू द डिज़ाइन तो दिस इज माई रिलेटिव ले आउट ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट दिस प्लेन टेक्स टू बी इन द सेंटर सो आई एम ड्रैगिंग दिस डॉट एज वी कैन सी देर आर फोर डॉट्स हेयर दिस फोर डॉट्स रिप्रेजेंट दी फोर प्लेसेस now just uh, drag and drop this dot here now uh, i can move this plain text in right direction see but when we move this uh, plain text in the down direction it again goes up as you can see here why because we are not specified any position in the down direction so again just drag this drop at the end so now we can move in the right and the down direction as you can see you can place this uh, plain text anywhere in the right and the down direction we can also attach this uh, left arrow if you want you can attach and the up arrow so in relative layout we will specify the positions right? all the position we have to specify as we can see here 101 this is uh, from the left side the 101 uh, this dp and this is your 55 this uh, it goes on down it will increase the uh, up size and the right in the down so i am placing this uh, text the uh, te uh, plain text in uh, middle now uh, this is my text view go to the attribute window this is my uh, edit text so i am giving the id as et1 now it will uh, ask the refactor as we can see here we will refactor the id so that right when we uh, click on this refactor uh, button wherever the id is there it will uh, replace all the ids with the et1 as we can see here et1 and then here id is et1 now name it is an empty why because the user will enter the phone number so the text uh, of the uh, plain text is empty now there is a one more option right we have a option called as hint uh, this is a pro these are the properties hint option is there now in this i am writing enter phone number so as we can see here this this will appear right, as a placeholder in the plain text enter the phone number okay so this is uh, this is uh, the plain text now we will take a button just drag and drop the button again it will appear in the left corner then attach the arrows so that we can move the button in left and 
right direction down direction see this is my button now again we will change the properties of the button first btn1 then again we refactor the button id now text call number so these are the two properties right that we set for the button call number and the id so this is the design of the uh, dial number app right we done with the design part of the dial dialer app now we will see the coding part which is in java right uh, the next part of this uh, session is your coding so go to the main activity dot java this is your dot uh, java file created by the android by default this file is created now we have used a two uh, components or two ui components in the design so first we create a object of edit text this is my txt1 and the button b1 so now these are the two objects now we uh, we just declare these two objects we will initialize this object txt1 equals to we have a method find view by id now we will find the id of the et1 as we can see this is my id in the same way right b1 equals to find view by id r dot id dot btn1 so now we declare and initialize the button and the edit text now we apply the action on the button when user clicks on this button right we will call uh, the number right whatever the number entered by the user in the edit text we will uh, call uh, the number so b1 dot set on click listener as we can see here right? this is my first option set on click listener just enter press enter new then again we have a first option view dot on click listener just click on this it will automatically generate the on click event for the button so now this is my uh, button event on click now we will first uh, get the number right from the edit text so we have a variable str phone equals to txt1 dot get text now as we can see here the written type of this get text is editable so now i uh, when i uh, end with the semicolon it will generate an error why because get text has a written type editable but we are storing the data in the string so there is a data type mismatch now we convert this data into two string now the error there is a no error in the line so now this line basically use uh, to get the phone number entered by the user in txt1 that is your edit text the next part uh, we start with the uh, calling right for that we will use a api right, provided by the android that is called as telephony api okay now uh, next we create the object of intent class intent and the object is uh, small i intent equals to new intent then in within intent right we will pass intent dot now we have a uh, different types of action now we will call action in capital underscore call as we can see here there is a first option so now this is basically used to call uh, to allow the calling uh, for using a application then with next we have a comma then there is a class uri uri uniform resource indicator dot parse then parse within parse we will type a telephone number within double quotes then plus the name of the uh, variable right 
दैट स्टोर द नंबर तो वी ऑलरेडी स्टोर द नंबर इन एस टी आर फोन सो हेयर वी विल राइट एस टी आर फोन एंड यू पुट द सेलिंग तो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन राइट आफ्टर राइटिंग और आफ्टर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस लाइन वॉट हैपन इट विल स्टार्ट अ एक्शन कॉल एक्टिविटी विद इन द करंट एक्टिविटी एंड इट विल कॉल ऑन द नंबर दैट दैट वी पास हियर दैट इज योर एस टी आर फोन नंबर ना नेक्स्ट लाइन राइट आफ्टर क्रिएशन ऑफ द इंटेंट ऑब्जेक्ट वी स्टार्ट द एक्टिविटी स्टार्ट एक्टिविटी एंड वी पास द इंटेंट ऑब्जेक्ट राइट विद इन स्टार्ट एक्टिविटी सो दैट इट विल स्टार्ट दिस इंटेंट तो नाउ when we call this method right it will start the intent and within intent right we are uh, passing a action call right with the phone number so automatically uh, it will uh, start the uh, action call activity within the uh, my current activity that is your uh, activity underscore main okay now uh, for uh, we will just print a toast message so that right we can have uh, just type a toast right? dot make text and here we will pass the text right? that will show the call is activated so now we will uh, print a message mobile is calling on phone now now this, this is just a message right that we will print uh, on the toast message so this is a code right uh, that will basically use to create a dialer application now the next part of the uh, this program we will allow the permission right so that we can access the uh, context of the mobile application so uh, for that we will set the permission in the manifest file so let us start with the manifest file right here we have a separate file created by the android studio right that file is called as uh, manifest file basically manifest file uh, is used to set the uh, to allow the permissions right so that we can uh, use that permission in the application so there is a folder manifest that android manifest.xml just click on this right here we will allow the permission at the top so we will write a simple uh, single line code is there that is your uses permission no uses sdk software development kit then android no sorry uses uh, we will set the permission then within permission right we will give a name to the permission right so we will search here the call phone permission so we will just uh, take any one right and just go back right double quotes and again call underscore phone see we have this and then we close this bracket so this line basically used to allow the permission so that we can uh, the uh, we, uh, the application will allowed uh, to access the call functionality of your mobile phones so this is a line to set the permission for the android application so now this is the second part right that we you uh, that we set the permission now we already have a design part now let us start with the execution of this now i am selecting the pixel 2 api and click on play it will start or it will launch the emulator just wait for some time 
after execution right uh, it will display the output like this okay so now uh, here we allow the application to access the uh, phone telephony api of this mobile so uh, just click on this button we have this uh, the icon of the application just click here then app info go to the app info button just click on this app info button here we have a permission then phone uh, allow the permission of the phone so that this application can have uh, access to your phone just set this permission and call number it will first display a toast message and it will start the uh, call underscore phone activity uh, do remember students uh, there is a one uh, problem with the code right we will first write this entire code in try and catch me this is the uh, uh, requirement for the call uh, phone activity right that we here action call right? it may throw an exception so it is uh, important ki we have to write this action call uh, property or the activity right within try and catch block so this is one uh, of the very important part that's why right we are getting the error in the previous uh, execution so we will uh, write try and catch okay now again start with the activity just click on this play button it will launch a emulator and start the execution of the current activity see this is my activity now uh, you just uh, write a number any number okay and start with the call as we can see here mobile is calling right and uh, start with the call underscore phone activity right it has a mute uh, this all button speaker hold and all okay and it is it will start the calling calling stop the call so in this way right uh, we can design and code the dialer application i will share this code right, in the description so that you can download the code from the description okay this is all about the design and the coding of this application i hope you understood this session thank you so much